will all these overpriced EVs with no significant or practical features be the death of the industry? Nothing that truly solves our problems is being made. So why is Canoe entering the market? They are the underdogs. Most companies only want government incentives. So they just make EVs and expect us to buy them without giving us a real reason why. We are simply not doing that, and the underdog is here to capitalize on that. Canoe is going against the trend. This is a fight aimed straight at the giants like Tesla, VW, and GM. And this is how it will disrupt the industry with a whole new concept. So what will it really be like? Honestly, this is an almost perfect truck. They made it to perfectly fit any type of lifestyle. There's a reason why not a lot of mainstream attention has been given to this truck. This is very unique and different, and who's willing to bet on an underdog, right? The EV market is going through a lot, so a newcomer wouldn't be the right move for a lot of people. But we'll explain why that is not the case. But first, who is Canoe, and where did they pop up from? In 2017, a bunch of visionaries gathered with one goal – to make EVs that are actually practical. This sounds familiar, so what sets the canoe pickup apart, and how are they really planning to make good on their promise? It is simple, and that is the answer. They're planning on being simple. It's as straightforward as it gets. The key to practicality is you and me. If we can't use it the way we want, it's a no-go. It's not practical. Canoe gets it. At a certain point, all of us wanted to have something in our truck that truly mattered to us, but we couldn't because there was no way to fit that thing, and the companies don't make them to be used as such. Your average truck isn't designed to be flexible and easy to integrate. If you want to do that, you'll have to do a lot of damage to your truck, and who wants to do that? Now, with the canoe truck, we can do that and more. But don't just take our word for it. Look at this truck and tell us if you would want anything more than it has to offer. Now, let's dive into the mileage talk. We all know the EV struggle is real, right? Battery capacity? Who wants to twiddle their thumbs waiting for a charge when you could snag a gas guzzler for less? That doesn't make sense. Canoe nailed it with a whopping 500 miles on a single charge. And here's the kicker. There are two charging options, a 7 kilowatt home charger and a turbocharged 150 kilowatt fast charging station. This is pretty cool and practical. To be honest, we were surprised, but we're not the only ones. The US Army and Canoe have teamed up to put their pumped up electric pickup truck to the ultimate test the light tactical vehicle. And this beast is decked out with all the must-haves, and let's be real, some seriously jaw-dropping features. It's made with carbon Kevlar for maximum protection, a suspension that tackles any terrain like a boss, and tires that can go anywhere. It's the epitome of versatility and ruggedness. But hold on to your hats, because this is a game-changer. It might just cause a paradigm shift as this development has a potential to significantly impact Tesla's standing as the industry leader in the electric vehicles. As of now, Tesla is the clear market leader, and Canoe knows this, so they strategically align themselves with Tesla, forging a formidable partnership that extends exclusive access to Tesla's supercharger stations for Canoe drivers. Get ready for a revolution in the charging game, offering Canoe owners unmatched convenience coast to coast. Picture plugging into Tesla's supercharger network with your Canoe electric pickup truck. This is a match made in heaven. And this is just the start of it, the tip of the iceberg. While everyone's got their eyes glued to the giants like Ford, Chevrolet, and even Tesla's Cybertruck, Canoe's been playing 4D chess. They had a trick up their sleeves, patiently waiting for the perfect moment to unleash it. That will be the end for many EV companies. Stick around, because we'll talk about how they'll actually do that. Real-world performance While we're not armed with a complete rundown of specifics just yet, we do know that the rear-wheel drive model holds its ground at around 300 horsepower. 
Now, it may not be the best out there in terms of sheer power, but rest assured it carries a substantial punch and is more than capable of handling your everyday demands and fueling some genuinely exhilarating adventures. And take our word for it, you won't find yourself yearning for more. But if you do, buckle up because this beast can unleash a whopping 600 horsepower and 550 pound-feet of torque in the dual-motor all-wheel drive configuration. This is the future. If we're being honest, the only potential challenge we foresee with this truck is its longevity. Canoob is a newcomer to the scene, and we adore pickups for their utility, durability, and undeniable cool factor. But fear not, even this concern dissipates when you consider Canoe has already secured orders from established fleet customers like Walmart, NASA, Zebra, and King Bee, all seeking the same reliability we crave. Just think about it, the US Army has enlisted a fleet for themselves, and honestly, do you need more durability and capability than what satisfies the military? And look around at what is out there on the market. Every option and contender exist due to their established reputation, their brand name. Would the new Maverick attract you if it hailed from an unknown brand? Sure, it's a Ford truck, they've been crafting trucks since a time predating most of us, yet even they stumble into big mistakes that would be intolerable for a small up-and-coming brand. Canoe gets it. That's why they're signing all these crazy deals with big companies, and that is why this truck is, well, almost perfect. They need to build their name, their brand identity. And let's be real, this pickup is putting other trucks to shame. Now, hold your horses. It's not gonna be flawless. Nothing is. But this truck is going to outmuscle the competition, big time. But we'll talk about one major issue in just a moment and how this will stack up against all the competition. But we should get one thing straight first. Practicality and functionality. This truck wants to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, and we're not just talking about the EV trucks. No, look, a gasoline truck as of now makes sense. That's what I've also been thinking. But take a V8 engine, for instance. One of the meanest engines out there, weighing in at a whopping 600 plus pounds. But that's the exact problem. This small canoe beast is less than 200 pounds and packs 300 horsepower and almost 300 pound feet of torque, and you can fit two of them in there. This opens up a whole world of possibilities for canoe and other EV makers. But most EV manufacturers are stuck in their old ways playing it safe with designs like Ford's barely changed F-150. Canoe? They're shredding the rulebook. Built from scratch for pure efficiency, every inch is there for a reason. No more outdated nonsense. This is a truck straight out of the future. But there's a reason traditional designs are popular. We're familiar with those type of trucks, and they work. But remember, when we said Canoe's all about practicality, we meant it. This bad boy boasts a 4x6 foot bed, but that extends to 8 feet, and you're head to head with the Maverick, with a way shorter wheelbase to boot. Plus, this ain't your average minimalistic EV truck. It rides on a unibody platform, seamless from cab to bed. There are no weird gaps here. They built this thing with integration in mind. Steering wheel, seats, even the body panels, every detail has a purpose. The wire steering and wire brakes provide more space, but they didn't stop there. Canoe gave it all a function. This truck is basically the Swiss army knife of the truck world, packed with features and ready for anything. They ditch the steering columns, shock towers, and struts, it's all gone. This truck is fully drive-by-wire and brake-by-wire, meaning they could toss 35% of the parts for a clean, lean machine. The result is a spacious interior that feels like a small pickup but hauls like a full-size truck. This ain't just a truck for one owner, it's built for generations. Seriously, the CEO said it himself. The canoe's modular, meaning you can transform it into a workbench on wheels or slap a camper shell for those wild weekends. All this extra space is customizable with everything you can need. Charge your tools on the go and forget about battery anxiety. 28 minutes of juice a day is all you need. 
Open in and out is a breeze, with a roomier front space and custom seating. Plus, the battery pack is yours to upgrade, replace, or repair. There are no strings attached. Run this all day and still cruise home with 35 to 40% power for a quick charge. But wait, there's more. The truck bed is fully customizable too, and there's a hidden step that pulls out from the side, and another one for easy rooftop access. But now, let's talk about the major problem that most of us think of. Price and competition Canoe's thrown down the gauntlet, crafting a machine so meticulously awesome that you'd expect a price tag steeper than most on the market. But they're keeping it simple, with a starting price of just $35,000. Now, I know what you're thinking. There's got to be a catch, right? Well, not really. They understand that a one-size-fits-all truck is not going to cut it. They're bringing a fleet of customization options, so you can tailor this beast to your wildest adventure dreams. Whether you're scaling mountains, hauling gear, or just cruising in style, Canoe's got your back. And let's talk about performance. This electric beast blows the competition away, with almost double the mileage of the Ford F-150 Lightning. And sure, the Tesla Cybertruck might be in the same price ballpark, but let's be honest, it looks like it rolled out of a sci-fi movie without any practicality. The canoe, on the other hand, it's a pure head-turner with its sleek design and futuristic vibes. But what looks good to you depends on you. What we can talk about are its features and all its functionality. That is the bottom line. The canoe truck has the looks and the brains, and it will not break your bank. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments. And if you want to be genuinely shocked by what's going to happen with EVs, watch this video I recently uploaded about breaking news that could harm the entire EV industry.